Hello everyone, I think it's recording. Um, I'm using my webcam today just because it's much quicker uh, to film videos on rather than my um, big camera which takes ages to process and shrink and all that stuff. I'm going to be doing two reviews for you today, I'll do them one video at a time. So the first book that I wanted to talk about today is Hecate the Witch's Goddess. And the name is Gary R. Varna or Vorna. I'm not sure how you pronounce that, but you can see that there for yourselves. This is what the front looks like. This is what the back looks like. And it's, uh, I don't know if I'm saying this right. I think it's Oak Clyde Productions. Uh, productions, publications. <laughs> not with it. I don't know if you can see that. So um, I bought this book, uh, when was it? It arrived today uh, and it is now the 21st of December but I bought this book a few days ago. I'm currently doing a Hecate um, training priestess activation type course online and um, I thought it would be really nice to have a little book to go alongside that just so I could get even more out of my course and I was looking because there are so many books about Hecate and I was looking on eBay for the cheapest ones and secondhand ones and different things like that and this one came up so I thought, okay, now I'm only on the fourth module of my course currently, and I'm going to be honest, <clears throat> this is not a bad review, I'm going to be honest, this book taught me nothing about Hecate on her own, specifically, um, that the course hadn't already taught me in the four modules, but I'm doing a course. Someone else who buys this book might not want to do a course. Um, so this book was really easy to read. I, I love to highlight my books if I think there's anything I'm going to want to go back and kind of, um, you know, go through. And I, I found myself doing that. Where's the camera? I found myself doing that quite a bit with this book. Um, so lots of interesting points, even though they were things that I had already heard before. Um, so it's a very easy to read book and what I mean by e easy to read is it's one of those books that you can literally pick up and get back into within seconds. It doesn't matter where you put it down, you don't have to, um, you know, get to the end of a chapter each time you want to read the book. The thing I dislike about this book and the thing is, and like I said, this is definitely not a bad review, not because I'm really, really nice, but because the thing I dislike about this book um, is actually really good. So I feel like this book is a really nice little book. It just doesn't have the best marketing um, or advertising in terms of what it seems to be about. When I looked at the title, Hecate the Witch's Goddess, I thought, okay, this is going to be a book all about Hecate. And to a degree it is. However, when you get to page 32, that's quite a low number, you then get to chapter 5, or sorry, chapter 5 starts on page 33, The Animals of Hecate. And that goes up, is it page 99? Yeah, that goes up until page 99. So from the majority of the book, this is the tiny bit that I read oh, before, that's up to page 33, and it's not a big book. Um, so the majority of the book, which is this section, is a chapter all about the animals of Hecate. And I found that very, very interesting to read. It was going over the different animals. It was talking about um, the symbology of them. It was talking about the cultural aspects and where they came from and the reasons why they were associated, not just with Hecate, but in different religions and with different gods and goddesses as well. And I thought that was brilliant. But I kind of wish I'd bought this as a book for that because... That section is the majority of the book. The rest is kind of just 
an introduction to who Hecate is. Then it like goes on to this bit, which is the main bit of the book. And personally, I found it really interesting. There's loads of stuff I've highlighted and it, it doesn't just kind of touch on things likely like dog is this, da, da, da. you know, it has, I'm up to page, where are we? Okay, so I'm just picking a random page on page 45 now. We're still talking about the dog. Um, so, you know, page 49, we finally go on to ghost dogs, then page 50, dog men. So it there's an awful lot um, about the dog. Then it's the serpent, toad and frog, because you often see Hecate depicted with the head of a frog, head of a snake, head of a horse, head of a dog. Um, so this book is not a bad book and I will not give it a bad review because or a low rating because I really enjoyed this book. It's just from the front, I had no idea what this book was gonna be. Cause on the back, it kind of gives you a brief. It says for the most part, Hecate, is, uh, for the most part, Hecate is seen today as the goddess of witches and sorcery, but this wasn't always so. Hecate was at one time both protectress of women and infants and the goddess of death. She was in her trinity aspect, goddess of fertility, prosperity, and goddess of the moon, and, go uh, and queen of ghosts, shades of queen of ghosts shades and the night it is interesting that she was both she was seen both as the goddess of fertility and life as well as death um then it goes on to just say basically again more about her and then tells you what the chapters include on the back it doesn't give you an indication of how long the chapters are so from this book and the description about this book um whether or not the author came up with that or the publishers did, I don't know. Uh, I don't feel like it really does even the book justice because what the book is, is a fantastic account about the animals associated with Hecate with an awful lot of research gone on to, the, on to that and a little bit of an introduction about Hecate to begin with. Um, and if it had been marketed in that way, I think I'd have read it and been like, bang on, I really like that book, jolly good, um, because I do. So I am going to give this book, it's so tiny, um, but I am going to give this book a seven out of 10 because I thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed it. I just think that it's, and it's one of the reasons why I wanted to do this video because I've got some others that I've already read. But I thought, no, I'll do this one now that I've read it because I wouldn't want somebody else to buy it, be disappointed um, for the same reason that I was kind of taken aback by it when actually it is a really, really good book if you get it knowing what it is. So yeah, seven out of 10 for that one. So I hope you enjoyed the video. I've got another one to review here, but I'll do that in a different video. Um, so I see you guys soon.